Welcome back to another Varnberg Implement informational series video. Today we're here with a Massey Ferguson 7715S series tractor. This is actually a Dyna 4. Uh, we just sold this one, getting ready to deliver it to the field and the customer would like to know how to adjust the settings. And I think this would be a great video uh, to help others. So we're gonna do it here this morning. Uh, this has got the Dyna 6, the four gear, six power shift transmission with the FL4327 loader. These big beefy Trailberg tires. Uh, got your heavy duty hitch back here. Just a quick run around. You have PTO, remote valve, and your raise and lower. Have raise and lower on both sides. This is a deluxe version. Got the LED light packages. Got uh, adjustable mirrors. But we're going to jump in the cab and help you learn about all the things and how to customize your menu system to get the most out of your 7700 S series tractor. First things first, grab your operator's manual. This is a the operation side. You have an operation and a maintenance side. We're going to go through a lot of the stuff in here. We're going to reference this so you can remember and look up how you want to customize your tractor. But the first thing we need to do is start this tractor up. Come over here to the right pillar and fire up the tractor. Now, why won't my loader... First thing, we're going to do is tilt the steering wheel down. First thing you're going to have to do is cycle the switch, your clutch switch, until you get the park sits, park icon up there. You will, the tractor will not move if it, until you cycle the switch, until you cycle the pedal one time. The other thing is you're going to have to activate your hydraulics. And that's right here. Just show that button. And we've got the loader joystick. And we've got it linked to the engine speed. I can hear that this morning. Uh, but that's going to activate the hydraulics. To activate the three point, hit your neutral button twice here. You hit the neutral button and you've seen those lights blink. Now you can raise or lower your three point hitch. But if you don't activate that where the two lights blink, it's not going to operate. Same thing you got to do when you come back in. If you use the rear remote ones, you have to hit the neutral button twice. And it's already working because we did it, but that's how you unlock the, for safety reasons, unlock the three-point hitch, how to unlock your remote flow. The next thing we want to talk about is setting up your system information screen. This is the little the panel down here on the left hand side and due to the frame rate of the camera and the frame rate of the display we may see some blinking in your image uh, that is not a default of that it's just a default of filming this that screen is going to be controlled by this panel right here down here on your right hand side of your steering wheel you have the home key the ok key the four-way key now these tractors can be locked the screen to limit you push and hold both of these buttons here for five seconds you heard it beep you're not going to get but the home screen and the last screen that is kind of an operator's mode if you want to get into the full function or your tractor is currently in that position push and hold the two keys then when you push your button, you're going to see all these menus show up. And that's what we're going to talk about today, is customizing that. Um, we're going to go through, first thing, we'll just explain. Let's, this is some mini headlands system right here at first. Um, setting up implement with calculator. <clears throat> this is area of coverage. This is a fuel deal that you can... It's kind of cool to really watch because of how little of fuel you use. You got your tote, you got your fuel counter, your total fuel for the life of the tractor, and DEF system. 
that is one of the differences of Massey Ferguson with the dual knock sensor system is we don't use a lot of def and you're going to be able to see the performance of that thing. If you notice we've got the PTO lit up here. This is going to allow you to turn on or off that rear PTO. This is the an engine speed that uh, is activation during the rear PTO usage and this is the aggressiveness of engagement of the PTO. So you have soft start feature available. If you want to change something, say you want to change that PTO engagement, you go down here, see the arrow went down, highlight it by hitting the OK key, and then the up or down. So that's more aggressive, that is softer. We're going to leave it set in zero for this customer, and just hit OK and you're done. The next screen is about our hydraulics. This is our rear power lift setting. Uh, we've got wheel slip uh, control. You can set your maximum permissible wheel slip and to prior prioritize the hydraulic flow. This is one, if you're going to, with the, this has got an open center or cl closed center pressure flow compensated hydraulic system in this version. The priority, and this is one thing, when you hit that the three-point hitch, what has priority, three-point or remote valves? I like to change this a little bit, give it at least an 80-20, because if you're going to do a three-point, you're going to probably want it to do it and then go back to your hydraulics if you're doing a hydraulic function too. So we're going to hit OK, and that is saved now. And then we're going to hit the right arrow. Whoop. We're going to hit OK. We're out of that. We're going to hit our next page. This is our settings for our aggressiveness of the when you go forward to reverse settings, you actually can control the aggressiveness of the shift either in forward position, how aggressive when you go like from reverse to forward or from forward to reverse. You can set them separately on the S-Series tractor here um, and then you can do your power shifts is the plus minus there of how aggressive a speed change so you can soften up the you can make it softer you can make it more aggressive on the forward, forward driving or reverse side of it so you've got total control of this tractor uh, with both ways the next we're going to get into our hydraulics. Um, this has two remote valves that are in our joystick here controlled by our loader button. If we take our loader off, these are going to control remote one, forward and reverse. Left to right is going to be remote valve two. When we switch the loader button back on, that raises and lowers our loader. And there's couple different ways that you can do this. We're going to come back to that screen. Um, first thing, we're going to see that we're on remote valve one. That is going to be the actual hydraulic remote valve in the back. If you want to change, you hit OK on our touchpad and then we're going to go up. There's our remote valve two. Here is our bucket tilt and dump and our raise and lower. Uh, if it had a grapple connected, there is your grapple function and back to remote valve one. You can set flow in the up, the pot, the, you can set in both positions, you can set in and out flow settings, how fast it goes out, how fast it comes back, and then you have a timer available also. But what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to bucket. You can come down, whoop, hit OK hit OK then we come then we take our arrow down if you want to change that you hit the OK key and you can adjust your you can adjust your flow settings in 5% increments and you can have but there's another way and this is often quicker is this button right here when you hit it 
and you tap it, watch what it does to the screen. You got zero, you got 100, 75, 50, 25, and zero. You can actually turn the flow off, so make sure if you're adjusting these valves, you don't put them to zero because they will not work, and we have seen that happen before. But you can quickly come over here and adjust that to 75 and slow the loader down if you want to. That's what you're doing is controlling the speed. One of the things with these tractors and producing lots of hydraulic flow is hydraulic management. And, and managing your hydraulic, just providing enough hydraulic flow uh, to do the job, just you want a little extra, the more, if you go max on it, you're going to use a lot of engine horsepower to create hydraulics with a closed center pressure flow compensated system. So manage your hydraulics by just giving it a little bit more than what it needs to do the job and you'll use less fuel. You'll have to, it'll use less horsepower of the engine to create hydraulic flow for you. So you're going to save money. And that's just one of the things is hydraulic management is a money saving opportunity. One other thing, jump in here. Uh, we're going to hit OK. We're going to jump back to our, our remote valve. You can set the time of how long it's going to operate that function. And you can actually go into infinity. There's zero to 60 seconds here where you could run constant pumping too. That's just how you set up how long you want that. You want it to flow 100% for 11 seconds, it's going to do that. So that is what that bottom position is going to be. Uh, you can do manual control. Your third remote valve like on this one is going to be a mechanical control. So it's going to have a flow control on the back of the tractor for it. Uh, it has the lock gates. You can lock the lever in. You can lock out the float position on this one. So that was just a little bit more to help you learn about your 7715S. Our next screen we're going to come into is our engine, our engine screen. We go here. You're going to have your preset engine speed A is going to be your preset, which A engine speed is right here. So when I push this. You can see the RPMs went up to 1800. That is our preset. So you, that's where you can adjust your engine speed. Hit A again, and it goes back off. So we'll come back to our screen. Just hit the arrow key again. This is how responsive that engine speed change. If you want to make it smooth transition of power, you can lower it. Or if you want an aggressive change, you can do it there. This sets the maximum allowable engine speed. So if you're wanting to save fuel and you don't need, whoop, we got to go back here. You can set your maximum engine speed that you want to do for that job as available as a control function also. Now we're getting into the fun stuff. Uh, this is some cool stuff. This is a has some headlands features. Uh, C1 is going to be your constant, like a cruise control, and you can correlate the engine speed with it. Uh, you can also, when you look, you can set a trigger. When you lower the three-point hitch, that your preset engine speed uh, is activated at that time. So this is where you set up your triggers that um, you can correlate your engine speeds. You can uh, set trigger with uh, with that automatic engine speed control, and you can set that engine speed control at whatever level that you want. What you've got is you've got break to neutral and this is one if you're a round bailing guy you want to turn this on and you're going to have to activate this anytime that you want to use the feature as a safety it automatically defaults to the off position when you turn the tractor off you're going to have to hit ok and then hit the up arrow and hit ok again and now break to neutral and we'll show you this function here in just a little bit in the driving portion of this video the next one is an anti-stall feature if your engine drops below 650 engine RPMs that will automatically kick the transmission to neutral position uh, to prevent killing the basically lugging the engine down and killing it. 
um, not killing it, but uh, turning it off. You're not going to kill that. So there's how you turn the auto neutral. The next is transferring the pedal mode, which you can operate this tractor with your foot throttle. And you can do uh, your C2 wheel here to control the max pedal max gear speed in your pedal and we'll show that here in just a little bit so um, that's what this screen goes through in this screen this is our soft drive function our suspension system which we'll raise her up here and we're going to give her more flow when you hit the flow button over here it automatically comes back to the flow screen so We've got to get back to our the loader will give her some RPMs in. You can see it bounces instead of, and that's with the soft drive on. You can lock the loader or you can correlate the engine speed. And this is one of the cool things that I like uh, is come down to that hit okay go up hit okay now watch this the engine speed automatically revs as it lowers the load as it raises the loader if you do it very soft you're not going to raise the loader the harder you pull on the joystick the faster it's going to go and the more engine speed it's going to use to operate the loader. That is one of the cool things in that screen there. I re usually recommend having the soft, soft drive on unless you're doing something that you don't want suspension in your loader. Uh, that's your top one. Uh, H3, H4 function. If you had a third function kit, you can turn it on and off here. Now, this is the cool thing in here, is this joystick for the loader, we've got our loader function, but we got forward reverse with the trigger that's behind here. You tap those and you can do it. Uh, you can increase, decrease power shifts, or you can do H3, H4. And the H3, H4, you've got all kinds of functions that are available. Uh, right now I have it set up for our C1, C2, which is our two which are two operating gear ranges. Uh, if you want to change it, we'll just come down here and hit the C1 here real quick. Hit OK. And you can see there's C1, C2. You can lower the three, po the three point, raise the three point. Uh, kick the power front axle in, diff lock. Engine speed A, C1. I've just kind of set that up for this customer, uh, so he, when he's doing his loader work, he can change his his speeds. And if we go to home position, you can see our C1 is in 1F, our C2 is in 2E. And you do that by changing the rotary wheel. And I would probably recommend keeping them in the same gear range because you're not going to have changing a gear and a power shift at the same time home screen here you can preset your takeoff speeds and we'll show you that here in just a second uh, your engine speed you're in joystick mode we have auto neutral our three point percentage this is our preset gear takeoff c1 c2 and to remember you've got the turtle mode here if you push this button here with the clutch engaged you can shift to rabbit range and it will change to a different set of presets. So we're going to jump into that in a little bit. We're going to finish up the system information screen here this morning. Whoop, go back to home. So we've discussed that. The next one is some information on your voltage, your temperature of your engine, your transmission temperature. Um, this is the brightness of the display, the time and the bottom one is where you is uh, the motel 6 feature we'll leave the lights on for you so if you're it's called barn mode and you if you pull into barn the lights will stay on 
until you once you exit the tractor for a little bit and then shut off so hope that helped you learn the system information screen uh, it's very simple these are awesome tractors you can customize them to fit your need and operation of how you want to operate your tractor done by this simple panel but now let's get into some added features uh, to set the preset settings for the takeoff speeds what you're going to have to do is you push the clutch in put the and i'm going to have to try to get this all done here you're going to preset the put the put the clutch in you're going to have to hold it and this lever in the same direction i'm going to try to set the camera up so you all can maybe see As you push, you're going to have to push both of them in the same direction at the same time. So, push these. I'll set it up here because you all be able to see what changing. When you set, when you push both of these, you're gonna see. You can see that you can change your takeoff speed. We're changing this left side here. You go backwards, pull both levers back at the same time. You're gonna hear that beep when you change gear range. You set both of them in the direction that you want. When you want to do reverse, you bring it back to here. You set the forward first before you do the reverse and then it's direction of travel so if you want to do reverse there's our reverse speed you can see we're changing a gear and a power shift but you can set it opposite each other so once you set the forward we're going to go up here we're going to set 2c come back well we've got faster because we went to the back we're going to do 2a for our reverse takeoff speed that's how you do that now to set your c1 and c2 there's these rotary wheels here and i'm going to rotate the first inside one is c1 outside is c2 so if you want to change your speed of c1 say we want to do it on the gear three there's 3a and then we're going to do rotary two we're going to do it say 3d there so that's how you set that up is using the rotary wheel when you activate the c c1 button or remember we set these up as c1 c2 also so that's how you do some of the preset takeoff speeds now let's uh this is all in your operation manual if you look at this is in section three in this book uh, you're going to see a page that's going to have all these screens and it's going to go through all this functions it's very simple uh, to follow along but a, a video helps a um, couple other things that I want to highlight this is your main information screen uh, that's in the front there the next thing is We've kind of helped highlight when you buy a tractor from Varnberg Implement, we kind of, and you're new to Massey Ferguson, as this customer is. Um, power front axle, we're gonna run over that real quick. Um, you have your power front axle, you have manual side, and you have an automatic side. The automatic will do sequences like temporary disengagement and that stuff. Uh, that There's good explanation of all that in the manual. Uh, wheel slip ratios, you can turn it on and off when you're uh, steering sensor. But that's, a, that's the feature of that. Uh, PTO operation. Uh, to get into economy PTO is going to be done by this lever right here uh, to engage the PTO. That engages it and you'll see the PTO display show up there. You have a 
the first position when you're coming from there you have one position you're going to stop it once it gets to zero then apply the brake now you have Econ full speed PTO or economy speed PTO and you can see where it can get 540 engine PTO speed it's gonna be about 1650 RPMs well there's 530 540 at about 1550 engine RPMs that's one of the cool features of having economy PTO couple other thing over here you have the auto mode on it you have auto diff lock or manual diff lock and you have cab suspension this has got the opti ride plus so we've got multiple levers when you push this button you're going to see on the system information screen that it changes and i'm just going to go over here when I, you see the different levels the, there's three different levels of cab suspension softer harder or off that's off that's maximum so that's how you change your cab suspension is right down here got your light panel uh, you're going to engage your lights here then you can control by this panel everything that you want on when you hit the left button you can go to road mode but then when you come back you can go back to everything got a can cooler up here when your air conditioner is blowing you can blow cool air through radio air conditioning system but let's take her for a little spin here and show you a couple of these functions first thing you got to do is put it in forward position if you want to hit that auto neutral this is a cool feature hit both brakes we stop the tractor movement we release the brakes and we're going again see we're in gear 2c and that's what our pre-select gear was in when we go to reverse we're going to drop to 2a and go to reverse because that's our preset gears here um, now if you want to bump up if you want to bump up gears you can just bump tab up do reverse you go back to your 2a if you bump out of if you change speeds you're going to go back to where your preset is so if you need to go faster you want to do that through there uh, you can set this into auto mode this is stick mode you can put it into foot metal mode and you can see over there now what that does it allows us to drive the tractor our foot and it'll change the power shift speeds you can see we're up to 2f right now so um, that's another option if you're going down the road that's one that's uh, kind of a handy deal is changing speeds by your foot you just come to stop and shut it off okay now what we're going to do is with the h3 mode we can hit that button and you can see that we're changing we went to gear range 2a we're in 2a and then we hit 2f is our other one so we're going to go up to our power shift it's going to shift up there increase our speeds that's all done right here on the loader joystick so if we want to slow down hit 2a and it's highlighted in green there the 2a function it makes it really nice for loader work you have to make sure um, that your H3, H4 is turned on and uh, to operate that. If it's in off position, it's not going to operate that on the load, loader stick. If you ever want to go back, just hit your home key down here and you're back to home. So well, next time you hit the function, it's going to cancel it. Um, that's pretty much the gist of uh, operating this transmission resetting up your uh, 
presets of the controls. Engine speed, we, we'll set up an engine speed one thing. I think we can, we'll go to 1500. If you push and hold, you hit your engine speed where you want it, push and hold this button. We'll shut it off. If we want to do it at idle speed here, you push and hold, and you hear that button. We went to 850. So you can set your manual throttle. It's a quick way to do it. Push and hold your engine speed button, and it'll go to where you want it. So uh, three point raise and lower, and then you have your rotary wheel. You have your uh, position control, intermixer for your position and your draft control. Uh, position control intermix there, uh, height the raise, and height the raise and speed of fall, and this is uh, basically soft drive for your three-point hitch. One thing when you're in rabbit mode, you can shift through with the T handle with the plus button here. You can shift through all speeds. It's going to change. And it does have speed matching on this tractor, so um, on the rabbit side. Now on turtle, we got to come back to neutral. Hit our button. And the turtle side, if you hear it beep, it's not going to let you shift out of the, the gear range that you're in. So that's pretty much everything on setting up, customizing your tractor to meet your needs. Hope that helped you learn a lot more about how to make this tractor work for you. They're high-tech tractors that got a lot of features, but they're not nothing to be scared of. Um, that's what we're here for at Varnberg Implement, to help you teach you learn, to get the most out of your hard-earned dollars and your investment in your new Massey Ferguson tractor. Uh, this one's getting ready to head to field and uh, get the customer enjoying it. The benefits of operating and owning a Massey Ferguson. Operate the three point, you need to wake it up first. So you hit down, up, down, and you can see it's going to go slow. It's going to take, it's going to not be aggressive. You just hold the button and it'll hold it. The more you hold it, the faster it'll go down. That's good. Down. And then we can hit the up button and raise it. Once you wake it up here, you got to re-wake it up there. Same thing in your hydraulics. You have to wake it up before before it operates a function. And you have to set have parking brake set and then the operator's manual to use this function, to use the PTO function out here. Hope that helped you learn. I hope that helped you learn more about the 7700 series Massey Ferguson S series tractor with the high spec features of this Dyna 6 transmission. Listen to that Agco power engine just purr there. Hoping you get the most out of customizing your tractor so you can get more, do more with Massey Ferguson. That's our motto. Helping you get the best value in farm equipment so you, that you can get more work done in less time and enjoy the finer things in life. And if you're in West Central Missouri, Come visit us at Varnberg Implement. We're here located on Fairground Avenue and Missouri 13 Highway. If you're outside of our area, go visit your local Massey Ferguson dealer. You need to buy from your local dealer because they're the ones that's gonna service and support you throughout the time. Times are tough, inventory's low. Your local dealer will work with you and pre-sell. Just like this tractor here was built to order for this customer. It took a while to wait for it, but it's, worth, it's well worth the wait. Make sure you get with your local dealer and help and get them to help you find the perfect tractor for you. If you're in West Central, as we were talking earlier, first stoplight, just about 15 miles south of Lexington, Missouri in the Missouri River, or four miles north of Interstate 70 in Missouri 13 Highway. Just come see that big Agco Massey Ferguson sign there and we'll take care of you. Come visit us at Varnberg Implement. Get you a Massey Ferguson and do more and enjoy more of the finer things in life. And be sure to check out these 
I, the S series tractors from Massey Ferguson, lots of features, lots of specs, a great value to do more, get more, and enjoy more. <laughs>